What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can add a text view in your iOS app. As always, we're going to fire up Xcode and we're going to create a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application. Call it whatever you'd like. We're going to call it text view in our case. Uh, create and save it. And once you've done that, make sure you smash that like button below for daily Swift tutorials. If you're new, welcome. We do Swift tutorials daily here, other app development stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get started with adding a text view. So a text view, if you're not familiar, is similar to a label in an iOS app with a couple of distinct differences. Uh, number one, text views can be editable. So you can imagine the notes app on your phone or iPad where you can open up a uh, view and you can edit it. You can type directly into it. Text views are also scrollable where if the text goes outside of the container rectangle, the frame of the actual user interface element, you can scroll the text. Uh, but enough of me kind of explaining it. Let's add one and see what we can do. So we're going to hop into the main dot storyboard. And in here, we're simply going to, once it loads, we're simply going to change the background color of the view controller to let's go with black. Click this up here to get our elements. We're going to search for a text view and drag it in like so. And you can see it has a background color here. Let's apply some constraints to it. We're going to give it 20, 20, 20, 20. And we have some text in here by default. So let's actually just hit Command R to build and run this app in our simulator. And we'll, uh, we'll take a look at what we get once it decides to load in just a sec, like so. So we see that Xcode is being slow. Any second, there we go. We have this container here and we can actually just see it like a normal label and click into it. And by default, it actually is editable. So you can see that I can type in here and edit stuff. So kind of similar to the notes app. Um, you see there's no keyboard down here. And that's because we have it turned off. So we can go to hardware, keyboard, toggle software, keyboard. And we'll get our keyboard popped up like that. So let's uh, let's do some stuff with this. Let's uh, copy and paste this default text for the text view a few times. And let's run it once more. And let's ignore my antivirus pop-up. And you'll see actually that this text is scrollable in the container. You'll also notice that we didn't have to set any special property on here like a UI label to allow the text to be a multiple lines and line wrap. So that's another important distinction. Um, oftentimes people will ask the question, when is it appropriate to use a label versus a text view? And the answer is a little subjective. Generally, when you want a multiple, a multi-line label or text to be editable, you use a text field with the key point there being you want it to be editable. If you have a few words that you want to display on just a label, no editing, no nothing, no scrolling, use a label. The scrolling is also a big difference. So if you want text to be in a fixed container and it to be scrollable uh, in that container, use a text view. Let's see, what else can we do in here? We can change the default text to nothing and it'll be empty. You'll see that it's white by default, the background color. So we can change that down here. If we scroll it down, we'll find background. We can make this basically anything similar to anything else. We can change the text color. Let's make this white. The font we could change, which is the size as well as the actual font typography. We can change the alignment. You can see that there is an editable field here. So if we actually make this uh, not editable by unchecking the field. We won't be able to type into the field itself. Uh, let's add stuff in here and let's also bump this font size a bunch. And you'll see that we get this in here and we can do a couple other neat stuff. So we can change the capitalization similar to a text field because we're uh, in some cases allowing the user to type in here if it's editable. 
Right now it's by sentences. We can make it words. We can also do spell check, which is done by correction. We can do smart dashes. The other really cool thing about um, text views, which people often uh, use them for, is text views automatically can pick up on things in the in the text. So, for example, phone numbers, links, events, addresses, uh, shipment tracking numbers. So, if you've ever seen, like in the Notes app, if you type in a link, it gets converted to a tappable link to open in Safari. Apple is using a text view to create that functionality. So actually, um, let's do it ourselves and show an example. Let's make the text color black again. Let's make the background white and let's add a link in here. So let's do google.com and let's check a couple of these link, phone number, event. Let's hit command R to build and run. And we'll see in here in just a second that we'll see the app building and running. And we should see, so we actually didn't update this. Why didn't we update this? Let's see, text, let's hit enter in here. And that'll update it. Let's hit, it, hit run again, and we'll see that we get the link. And you notice here it's black like the normal text, but here we have a hyperlink. If we tap it, uh, it actually opens up Safari for that link. So that functionality of, there we go, there's Google, that functionality of automatically detecting phone numbers or detecting links, addresses, what's the last one in here? Flight numbers uh, and suggestions, that's pretty nifty. And labels, normal UI labels don't give you that functionality. Um, the other thing which I wanna showcase in this video before wrapping up is similar to any user interface element we can create an outlet for it by doing at IB outlet. And the type of this is a UI text view. And we can configure the text view through code as always. So we're gonna set the background color to red. We're gonna hop back into our storyboard and we'll connect this outlet that we created to our actual text view by dragging it like so. Hitting Command R, and we'll see that we get a red background text view like that. Uh, and what else? Let's see. If we go back to our view controller, there is also a text view delegate. I believe it's actually UI text view delegate. And if we click into here, you can see that there is some functionality that we can use such as text view should begin editing and editing uh, did begin editing with some other parameters so if you want to get the events from the text view when the person entered text or if they finished entering text you can do that as well through the delegate and of course don't forget to assign the delegate in your code like so that way you can access those events and that about does it. That's how you can add a UI text view to your uh, iOS app. So I know it's a little fast, but just to recap, you can do this through code and through the storyboard. Text views are editable, scrollable, and automatically detect things like links, numbers, addresses, etc. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you're new, like I mentioned, we do daily Swift tutorials, other iOS app related videos, other tech things in general uh, that kind of pique my interest over over the weeks um subscribe if you're if you've been here for a while thanks again for watching like the video share it see you in the next one